So we're back to plan B. Don't get hit by a bus. No. You know what? Whatever we do after we're gone, Lynn, I just want it to be together. So if you want your ashes spread somewhere crazy or you want to be thrown into a volcano, that's what I want, too. I just want to be with you, even if we're dead. Aw, Bobby. Hey, maybe being buried isn't so bad. Kind of be like laying around in bed Sunday mornings before the kids were born, right? Yeah, but what about the worms? Well, maybe they'll eat you first and be like, ah, this place sucks. Let's try another cemetery. Thanks, Lynn. I, I, I think. Fear it is going to be the sunny side of summer of our lives. Ooh. Valentine's kiss? Okay. Love you. Love you too. Here it goes. I want to come back to that because none of what you just said makes sense. But first, I want to talk to your mother. Lynn, I know you're nervous about going up there. I, I was nervous about my pimple, but I was brave and I came here anyway and I'm having the time of my life. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I yeah. I already got the inspirational speech from Jen, okay? That's all right, I'm fine. Oh. And I'm great. I win. Come on, Trev. Wow, your forehead vein is really big. Will you shush? I know it is. I can see it out of the corner of my eye. Yay, Bobby! You crushed him, Bob! You wiped the floor with him! Negative point for Teddy. Aggressive. Mort, so help me! It's okay, we're just children watching you. It's okay, we're just children watching you. Hold on, I saw the show last night. Trust me, it's about to get good. That's our show, everyone. Thanks for coming out. Well, what about the you-know-who surprise performer? Yeah, well, the show is what it is, so good night. I'll tell you what it is. It's garbage. Okay, all right, then. Drive safe. Nobody move. This is a robbery. I said sit back down, lady, or I'll shoot. Dub. Bobby, you're in the show! Garbage. I don't want your money. I just want the money of the big shot who owns this place. Ooh, way to commit, honey. Boy, I thought we did better today. No. Uh, oh. <clears throat> All right, here it goes. So I'm singing words to a song I'm making up right now. Cause it's the singing that matters and not the song. So it's up to me. To sing in key. That was great. Yeah, just go. What? I... It's a little high. Well, I nailed it. You were a little high. So you go higher. Okay. It's not to not. This could be the final shot, Mike. You scared? Maybe if I make a really big fart sound, she'll miss. I doubt it, but if we both make one at the same time, it might be loud enough. Let's do it. Okay, Mike. I call the blade of the ceiling fan. Which blade? There's five of them. The one with the ketchup on it. How do you get ketchup on a ceiling fan? Ready, Bob? Make it a good one. On three. One. Two. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? Three. <gasps> Where were you? Sorry, Teddy, I can't do it. That's my wife. And... Got it! Oh, Linda, yes, great shot! Wait, you cheering for me? Uh-huh. And... <clears throat> Linda gets free mail. Hooray! Hooray! So what I really want to tell you is you make it fun to work at the restaurant. I'd rather be scraping by together than have extra money and be apart. But I understand if you want to try this new life out. I mean, I don't really see the appeal. It's a pretty nasty market. But if it makes you happy, then it makes me happy. Hey, come on, that's too much. Oh, Bob! 
it's awful here. This is just a job. Everyone who works here just wants to leave. I hate it. I hate the customers. I'm sorry. I know you people can hear me. I just hate it. Yeah, it's called a microphone. She told me she hates you the most. What? Bobby, I want to come back to the restaurant. Oh, Lynn. Meet me at Register 5. I'm on my way. Oh, Linda. Oh, Bob. Oh, oh oof, shrimp! That you know, unfortunately, we can't bake enough in a day to fill your wife's giant hands. There's only so much pumpernickel in the world. What did you say? Oh, you poor dumb baker. Here comes the thunder. Guess what? No one uh, talks about what my wife's <gasps> giant hands Easy. on her birthday! Except... Lynn, I, I gotta tell you, I learned some new things about you today. <laughs> Stuff I didn't know. Stuff I respect, kind of. And I'm glad to say, after all these years, I'm still finding little surprises. Also, I wrote all of that in your birthday card. See? Oh, yeah. Aw. Yep, I did that. But sorry your birthday was horrible, then. Hey, don't be sorry. This was the best birthday ever. What? Yeah. You'd have been better off with Hugo, Linda. Bob, please. No, oh, it's true. I can't even satisfy you with my kisses. Sorry, kids. No problem. Thanks for the info. Ah, oh, Bobby. Now you listen to me. I would rather be married to a suspected cannibal with a dream like you than a soft-lipped guy who never had a dream in the first place. You would? No question. You're a hero to your kids and to me. Now come inside. Come inside and make us some food. We're hungry. Oh, Lynn. I'm coming in. <laughs> Open the door. Okay, you know what? We were cheating. I took my wife here on a date. We have about three of these a year. In a good year. And I brought her to bar trivia. I screwed up. And you didn't help, Dave. You made us feel stupid just because we didn't know the answers to any of the questions. I know that was fun for Kevin. <laughs> I know, I know. But my wife found a way to make this date night fun. And damn it, I'm not sorry about that. So sweet. You're out of here, Deborah. No, it did. Hands off, Deborah. Hey, ow. <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry, Lynn. That was, uh... Oh. Mm. Uh, <laughs> worth it. Woo! Hot one! Next day night, let's cheat at karaoke! Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Bob and Linda! Linda, are you okay? You blocked that with your face. Yeah, my whole face flashed before my eyes. What is wrong with you people? They're not listening, Bob, so screw them. You gotta fight, and I'm gonna have some snacks. Easy, come here. Oh, hold me! There, there, there he is. Ow, ow! Easy with those spatulas! Looking good out here, Bob. You always look good with the broom in your hand. You're like a pretty witch. Thanks, that's what I was going for. It's gonna be the sunny side up. Come on, summer of our lives. Aww, I'm proud of you, Bobby. Yeah. Mm, come here. I guess we're really watching this. Bobby, hold my hand. You haven't even gotten to the exorcism. I think we're good, Mom. I was gonna spin my head around in a circle and barf on your father. Like the good old days. Ha! Len. <laughs> Len, stop. Your mother will take, take, you. take you. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go either, Bob. No more. One, One, two, two three, three, four, I declare a thumb war. You damn it! Yes! So glad I married a man with dainty thumbs. They're beautiful, but they're useless. I can't sleep. Yeah, me neither. It's too quiet now. Yeah, I know. I think I'm not used to you not snoring in the middle of the night. Same here. I guess you're my white noise. My disgusting white noise. I guess you're mine, too. Aw. I mean, maybe I woke up because you stopped snoring, not because you started. But nothing makes me happier than them. No! Yes! Oh! Yes! We win! Sort of! Oh, Bobby! Now lift me up like in the notebook! I can't. Are you crying, Dad? No. I, my, uh, my che cheeks are just sweaty. Oh, Bobby. I guess you could kind of say we saved your Valentine's Day, huh? Yeah, I guess you did. By the way, we're probably gonna die here, but you know. Uh, not helping. But not for a long, long time. And I wouldn't trade that for anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> you want to die in our restaurant? Yeah, in 60 years. Both of us. Same time. We'll cross our eyes, stick out our tongues, and fall over. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to smile a little so I don't freak out the kids when they find us. My wife, she deserves something nice for once. I was never able to buy her a real engagement ring. I meant to, but we run a small restaurant and, and we're poor and gross. I mean, she's great. I, I'm gross. I'm the fun one. Jean, so all these nice people came out here to help me to look for the ring. I just, I hope you won't get Josie in trouble. She was just trying to help. Well, hold on, Mr. Wetness. Mom? Linda? And me. And Gail. Linda. Ned, hi. W what are you doing here? Well, I went home so I could have you help me hold Gail down, and no one was there, so I read Tina's diary, and here I am. So, you just heard all that about, about the ring? Yes. I also read about it in the diary. It was so detailed and up to date. Thank you. <sighs> Lynn, I'm sorry. Another anniversary got messed up, and you deserve to have a good one one time in your life. You don't need to give me a big old ring to prove you love me. Me? Well, it wasn't big. Well, I don't need it. I didn't need one then, and I don't need one now. All love isn't in a big giant ring, you dummy. It was very small. All love is in everything we've built together. After you begged me to settle for you. Mwah! Another marriage saved by old Nat King Cole. I love you, Bob. I love you too, Lynn. Hey! We're in a ring right now! Ha! I think I could squeeze half a glass out of this. Don't, though, right? Right. I'm just gonna suck on the rag once, real quick. <laughs> oh, oh, God, that rag's disgusting. I love you. It doesn't bother me to do things for my parents. It should. Lynn, I see how hard you try and how little they appreciate it, and they never admit when they're wrong, and it drives me nuts because you're like the best daughter in the world. Aw, Bobby, that's sweet. It really is, Bobby. Thank you. But I put up with them because I love them. And since you love me, I need you to do that, too. So you're saying the way to show you I love you is just to quietly let your parents be crappy? Kinda. <sighs> okay, I can do that. Our Valentine's was just going to be us writing down the 10 things we love about each other. Like, I love that Linda sacrificed her night for this. Not as much for the money, but so you guys would have somewhere to go. I mean, money's good. And I love that Bob's a dreamer who just wanted a fancy restaurant for one night. And I love... Oh my god, are you really doing 10 of these? No, 10's crazy. I don't know what we were thinking. Maybe a couple more? I love that Linda says vroom vroom when she turns on the coffee maker. Oh, I had that one on my list. I love that Bob's mustache flutters when he sneezes. I guess mom and dad are doing their valentines. Oh, loud and in front of strangers. Those romantic sons of bitches. Play something nice. Baby making music. You know it. That I'll never be extinct. So much harder to forget than you. Yes, I'll be around. I'll be the hot new thing in town. Unlike you and you and you, I'll be around. Unlike you, Bob, I'll be around. Hold hands, hold hands! Up, oh, it's too narrow. Unhold hands, unhold hands. That was a nice idea. Aw, Bob, do you need a hug, sweetie? No. Okay, yeah. Maybe I do. There, there. Everyone's safe now. Sometimes all the crap in the universe lines up. Like that night I met your father. Or like the time I petted that dog and found a Cheeto. Yeah. Everything lined up and it came out belching. How beautiful is that? I mean, look at Jane. Okay, don't look at Jane.